Batman with a four inch grinder. It's kind of an oxymoron, really. Welcome to the PWA trench. Kind of simulates real world tie in work on the pipeline. The pipeline's a different animal. There's a bunch of different types of welders out there, and if you don't know some of these rules, it's gonna get you in a bind. So, we're gonna go over a couple of the rules of this here uh, pipeline welds today. Now, welding with a partner is just like any other thing. You really wanna make friends with them, get to know them know how they weld, know how fast they weld, and you I gotta work together. It's a team effort. Oh, hold their pocket. It's a, don't hold my pocket. So, basically when you get down to your fit, you both wanna agree on the fit. That's what it's gonna come down to first. Know how he welds, and if you're a little bit better with the wider gap, or whatever, or maybe he's not as good with the fits, then kinda cater to the person that's a little bit more picky, if you can. And as far as tacking it, you never just put one tack right there on the dead top. You're gonna wanna go over to their side, if you're tacking the top, and run across that top and put a nice one on there. You don't wanna have that tie-in right there. You should only have a few tie-ins on this pipe. That's a tip from Welch Welding, if you don't believe me. You can go look him up and you're gonna know that that's worth uh, listening to. And then when it comes to the older guy, I know you're about to put a down deposit on your gravestone, so he's much older than I am. He's gonna get the top, I'm younger, I'm gonna get the bottom. If y'all are about the same age, then you rotate. After dinner, y'all swap. I hurt my wrist uh, working with the dryer today. Yeah, he literally threw his panties in the dryer and hurt his wrist. Yeah. Now you're going to want to burn about one whole rod. I got a whole rod across the bottom, not on dead bottom. You got the circle here. We're welding from here to here, a whole rod. So he's going to get the top. So there's the tie-ins are a lot easier to find. Some bigger pipe, it's about 12 inches. Now we might even put some on the tack on the side, but we're just going to run down the top to the bottom now. Now make sure that whenever you guys are waiting on the grinder or the helper, Take your rod out of your stinger. Don't want it to arc off anything. What are you doing? Grinding! There's one right there. God dang it, it's hard to find good help. You want to be real nice to your helpers. Don't be mean to them. Hey, right, get that whole thing all the way across. One of the other rules is never shorthand your partner or short arm them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld down each side. I'm gonna start lighting up. And as I dive into there, he's gonna be able to light up too. Now you gotta pay attention to where each other's at on the side of the pipe. I should make it down there before him. But before I get down to the very bottom, I'm gonna cross over. Now it shouldn't be too bad because we put big tacks in there. So we're not having to short arm nobody right here. But when we get to those hot passes and fills and caps, I gotta stop on his side. He's gotta stop on my side. If we stop, Right on the bottom, there's not gonna be enough metal right there and we're gonna leave a bad button. It's gonna be deep, it's gonna be gouged, it's not gonna be pretty, and you're making him work harder. So always start our finish way down on his side. One thing you never wanna do is stand up on your weld partner. So as you're putting your all's beads in, Scott over there is gonna be finishing his weld. He just tied in, I got a couple inches. He does not stand up until I finish this tie-in. You'll make your partner look bad, like I'm kind of slow or lazy or not as good or whatever, so I'll never stand up on your weld partner. My good friend Nasty Nate told me about that, Nate the Great, and my good friend Matt Bacus. The same rule applies for helpers, guys. Those helpers need to communicate where they're at on the pipe. You gotta be paying attention to that partner across from you. Make sure you guys don't be playing no dueling grinders. Y'all knock those grinding discs together, both of y'all in for a bad day. So you gotta make sure you communicate that whenever he lights up, He's gonna tell me, and then I'm gonna give him a couple inches, about two, let that metal solidify before I light up. By the time we get to the bottom, make sure that he finishes on my side and I tie into him. Make sure you leave some metal down for me at the bottom, all right? Hi, boss.
my legs on fire. Son of a biscuit. I'm getting ate up. It's like I'm in a bunch of bumblebees. Never sit crisscross applesauce on the bottom of a pipe. So I'm gonna let him get down there, get closer to me, and then I'm gonna tie in. He's gonna stay on the ground so he don't short arm me. And he don't make me look bad. Oh, he makes himself look bad. All right, I'm gonna come your way. All right, we get a grinder. I like to buff that tie in for him so he has something nice and clean to tie into. I went nice and far over there, so I didn't short on him, and he doesn't have to work as hard to make that tie-in. You gotta do that every time. Even sitting up like this is kind of bad repertoire. I need to stay on my back until he stands up too. And if he's slow at it, you just get a little nap. Helper, grind this We need wire wheels now. Oh, this is a good helper right here. He got it in his pocket. Yeah, that looks like ass up top. <laughs> hey, how do you make the top look like the bottom? Oh, the top. Yeah, just up. A tip for my good man Nate, Nate, Nasty Nate on Instagram. You want to give him some meat to tie into. If you try to taper out and pop off too quick, ow, then he has nothing to tie into and you're going to leave a big divot. You know, also two welders may fill at different speeds. So if he fills faster than me, I need to let him know that, hey, before you continue, go to put your lid on it. I got one more pass to make. So y'all got to be talking about that. You got to read the room. If you think that person isn't going to be open to having anything to do with what you have to say, it's not any of your concern. You let them do them, but try to communicate, make each other better, be your brother's keeper. Back side of that electrode hit me while I was grounded out. When I was like, yeah, I shocked the crap out of myself right there. I'm all sweaty and leaned up on grounded pipe and I touched oh, yeah. it. That's what gets me all the time. Yeah. That was a lot of work. Yeah. I was pretty surprised how them ruffians held up on something like this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they kept going. Hey guys, I hope this video helped. No matter where you go on, on this type of work as far as pipeline, they're gonna have their own method of their madness, right? So keep your eyes and ears open and your mouth shut. Pay a lot of attention to what those other welders are doing across the pipe, whether you're a helper, whatever it may be. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.